Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to update or edit data using PHP with Ajax and load up data data into jQuery boot grid table. In previous tutorial we have already seen the how to insert of data using PHP Ajax with jQuery boot grid plugin. In first part we have seen server-side processing of boot grid plugin and in that part we have also load edit and delete button, so in edit button you can see we have store product data under data variable, so based on the sim we will fetch single product data and update that data. So we have go to jQuery code on index page and here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have write boot grid constructor loaded dot rs dot jQuery dot boot grid with function. In jQuery boot grid we cannot direct fire event, we have to load jQuery boot grid constructor for do this things. So after load constructor we have write product table boot grid variable with find method and under this method we have write button class update with on method and under this method we have write click event with function. This code will fire click event on update button under boot grid table, so this way we can use click event under boot grid plugin. Under this block first we want to get product id, so we have write product id variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this method we have write row id variable in which we have store product id, so this method will fetch value of this variable and store into this product id variable. After this we have write ajax request and under this request we have write first url option set to fetch single dot php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method and here we have write post method, so we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data, in this option we can define which data we want send to server so here we have write product to data send to server. In fourth option we have write data type set to JSON, this option define in which format you want to receive data from server. Here we will receive data in JSON format. And lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called it request successfully completed and this function will receive data from server also. Under this function first we want to see the product modals so we have write dollar with modal id product modal with modal method and under this method we have write show. This code will pop up modal on web page. After this we want to fill form category select box field, so we have write dollar with select box id category id with value method and under this method we have write data dot category id. Then after we want to fill product name text box so we have write dollar with text box id product name with value method and under this method we have write data dot product name. In form field we want to fill product price text box, so we have write dollar with text box id product price with value method and under this method we have write data dot product price. After filling all form field now we want to change modal title, so we have write dollar with class name modal title with text method and under this method we have write edit product text. Now we want set product id variable value to form hidden field with id product id, so we have write dollar with hidden field id product id with value method and under this method we have write value method with product id. This will set hidden field value with this product id variable value. After this we want to change submit button text from add to edit, so we have write dollar with button id action with value method and under this method we have write edit. And lastly we want to change this value of hidden field with id operation from add to edit, so we have write dollar with hidden field id operation with value method and under this method we have write edit. So this code will change this field value to edit. So our query code is ready now we have go to fetch single dot php page and on this page first we have include database connection file by using include statement. 
After this we have right if statement and under condition we have writes if function with dollar post product did variable. This condition will check if value of this variable is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from product where product it is equal to dollar post product it variable. This query will fetch particular product data from product table. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connection variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. After executing query now we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result argument. This function will convert query result to array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar output category a variable is equal to dollar row category a variable. Here we have store category a table column data into this dollar output category a variable. Same way we have store product name and product price table column data into this dollar output array variable. After storing data into dollar output variable, now we want send data to Ajax request in JSON format. So we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar output variable as argument. This function will convert array to JSON string and send to Ajax request. Here friends you can see when we have click on edit button on particular product edit button then modal has been pop with form fields has been filled with that product data and modal title and submit button text has been changed and we have also assigned product it to hidden product it field and hidden operation field value also changed to edit so when we have click on this submit button then form will be submitted to server. So we have already write query code of form submit event while insert of data. We have directly go to insert.php page and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post operation variable value is equal to edit. This condition will check if value of this variable is equal to edit then it will execute if block of code and under this block first we have clean the form value of form fields by using miscly real escape string function and store into variable. After cleaning value of form fields, now we have write dollar query variable is equal to update product table set category it is equal to dollar category a variable. Product name table column is equal to dollar product name variable. Product price table column is equal to dollar product price variable where product it is equal to dollar post product it variable. This is our product data update query, so we want to execute this query. So we have write statement and under condition we have write miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connection variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. If this function execute successfully then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with message like product updated text box. This message will be sent to Ajax request. So our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see when we have click on edit button then modal has been pop up with fill form field with product data. So here we have edit product name and add 1500 and click on edit button. So after clicking on edit button we have received product update message pop up on web page. And after clicking OK button we can see updated data on query boot grid table, so that means our code is working. So this way we can edit form data without going to other page and on same page we can edit table data. So this is our video tutorial on query boot grid in which we have update table data. In next part we will see how to delete or remove data and query boot grid plugin with Ajax PHP. 
If you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video with your friends. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching video.